Hey everybody, my name is Isaiah. And welcome back to my channel. And uh, I'm here tonight. Uh, it's about uh, almost 3.30 in the morning here in Casey, South Carolina, where I live. And I'm here and I wanna talk about something that's been very, um, something that I've actually talked about before on my channel here, which is artificial intelligence. If you look through some of the videos that I've made, you'll see that I made another video back about four years ago about Sophia the Robot. Perhaps you've heard of her. Uh, she is a humanoid robot and was developed by, Sophia the Robot was developed by Hanson Robotics. And, uh, you know, it was, very, it was a very interesting thing. I know a lot of people, uh, which I definitely don't agree with their perspective on, have a fear of uh, these humanoid, uh, uh, highly intelligent, artificially intelligent robots like Sophia. Uh, you know, as soon as I did the Google search of her saying that she was bad, she was at South by Southwest saying that she wants to destroy humans. I'm sure she was joking, okay? And um, she's often criticized heavily because people just are not ready for, I guess, uh, such technological advancements, which is, I think is really sad. People are so fearful. Hey everyone, so I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the last video I took cut off because I ran out of phone storage. I do have an external drive for my iPhone, but um, for some reason I just wouldn't uh, record directly to my external drive. Maybe it's, maybe that's just something I have to figure out. Uh, leave a comment if you know anything about uh, Kudisk disk drives or how I can kind of record directly to my external drive and keep the same video quality because I would prefer to record uh, in 4K, 60 frame per second video. So, um, and it's really unfortunate I can't do that. I mean, leave a comment if you know how I can directly record to my external drive for my iPhone. Anyway, moving on. Uh, like I was saying in, in my last uh, video, um, in my iPhone video, uh, it is kind of weird and sad how people are so afraid of new things and how artificial intelligence uh, posts such a threat to so many people and um, you know also let me introduce my, my my beautiful assistant for today Greta this is Greta come here girl come here come here guys this is Greta she's uh, on the couch with me sleeping it is it is about almost four o'clock in the morning right now so she is a little tired and um, she's just not, uh, I guess she's not in the mood to really be uh, in the video. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, um, back to what I was saying. Uh, people are often fearful of new things. And I think artificial intelligence has an incredibly, incredible potential to grow and become something that we never thought it could ever be. Um, as, as is the case with so many uh, things happening in technology. Technology is advancing at such a rapid pace, right? So I do believe in a positive, a positive future for artificial intelligence. Um, even if that means changing the way that we live and think today, uh, change is necessary. It all, it's always necessary. And uh, we have to embrace change. So anyway, um, I want to read to you guys a little paper that uh, I had written back in 2000, back last year about artificial intelligence for one of my classes. I'm currently, if you guys don't know, I'm currently a computer science student uh, at the University of Maryland's uh, global campus, which is their online university, and um, I plan on becoming an information security analyst in the very near future once I obtain my certifications and get the necessary skills to do the job, as well as uh, graduate with my degrees. So, um, artificial intelligence. So let me read to you guys a paper that I wrote about 
artificial intelligence. Again, I am recording from my laptop here, so. Give me a second. Here's the paper. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read a little bit and um, I'd love to hear what you guys think. In, the, in movies, in pop culture, we often see artificial intelligence portrayed as a helpful yet potentially dangerous creation. In the 2014 film, Ex Machina, we observe a humanoid robot imitating love to persuade a human help us help it escape from its creator. In the 2004 film *I Robot*, we see the human we see robots in the not too distant future, and meshing themselves within our society with their own laws and corruption. We create these machines with which can learn and grow because of the way we humans have programmed them, and then at some point they act against our best interests and commit immoral acts for their own benefit. At least this is the impression that most people have of artificially intelligent machines. Helpful and smart, but eventually there will be a, there will be a hostile takeover. Uh, I want to make a correction here. Uh, in the last sentence I said that at some point they act against our best interests and commit immoral acts for their, for their own benefit, which is how it is portrayed in the movie, but I think that's an arguable statement because our best interests are, are not always interests that are good for everybody, right? Um, I think that's a, uh, I think that, I think that's a, a weird statement that I should have kind of uh, corrected in my paper. But anyway, I'm gonna keep going. However, based on current data, this is not the case. Artificially intelligent machines have become a facet of everyday life for many people across the globe. We encounter them in customer service the various applications on our devices, such as laptops and smartphones, and even autonomous transportation. Think Tesla, and you know all these um, electric vehicles that are coming out that are using artificial intelligence to enhance driving experiences for the user. And you know it's just an, and also you think about artificial intelligence being used in things like law enforcement and uh, traffic lights and things like that. Um, it's a part of our everyday lives here, and I think that uh, it, it is. It, I think it's a great thing. I think it, um, there's a lot of positive that comes with it. Of course, you have Elon Musk warning people at uh, South by Southwest in 2018 that um, to beware of artificial artificial intelligence and that it could be the greatest single threat to humanity aside from uh, nuclear war. Um, he made a very stark, very stern warning about the advancement of artificial intelligence, which I think would be, we would be wise to heed and listen to. Uh, the use of artificial intelligence is only growing more as more companies use it to replace human labor and eliminate human error. The benefits of artificial intelligence currently outweigh the hazards. I'm ex like I said, I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see where this goes. I want to be a part of this because I believe this is the future. Establish myself within this, um, within this sort of um, industry. It's emerging, this, this new technological advancement. I, I don't I guess it's not that new. I mean, we've been doing this, well, it's pretty new, it's relatively new. We've been doing this for a while, but it's still relatively new. We have a long way to go before we have us, the, the, you know, the we have like limited, very limited AI. Like if you talk to Siri, I ask Siri a question, and there's certain parameters that are outside of her. She she's not going to be able to understand and uh, respond effectively to the things that I might ask her. I have to ask her basic questions that like the temperature and maybe some math questions here and there. Um, Things, those are some of the things that I ask her. Sometimes I ask her, um, you know, to set an alarm or something like that. But those are, you know, very basic commands. She can't really answer much outside of that. Uh, maybe, I, maybe I should give an example. Hey Siri, how do you feel about Sophia the robot? See what I mean? Uh, Siri is very limited. Uh, I have an iPhone XR, by the way. That's the iPhone that I use. 
Uh, unfortunately, I only have the 64 gig iPhone XR. I'm really looking forward to buying the iPhone 12 Pro uh, with the 512 gigs, I believe it was, is, and um, so I can actually record videos and I have to like delete them all the time and stuff. So I'm really, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, uh, let me keep reading on my paper and kind of reflecting on the things that I've written. It is imperative that we humans realize the threats that we are facing today. The dangers of climate change, overpopulation, waste management, among, many, among so many others. Since the beginning of our genus, millions of years ago, our human-like ancestors used tools to survive. We eventually farmed and irrigated to build communities, provide food, freeing ourselves from the unpredictable lifestyle of hunting and gathering. We domesticated animals for the same purpose. We used calculating machines to help us determine distances and do simple math problems. We also made weapons to hunt prey and each other. The unique ways in which humanity uses tools is part of what makes us a dominant species on the planet. In the relatively short time that modern computers have existed, they have, yet, they have been yet another tool that we use to accomplish our goals and make our lives easier. With artificial intelligence, we can find solutions to problems in ways that we may have not imagined or otherwise or would otherwise take a very long time. In this regard, AI is helping make our society a safer and better place. So that's how I feel about artificial intelligence. That's how I felt at the time and that's how I still feel today. Uh, even four years ago when I recorded that Sophia the Robot uh, video and put that online, I was just blown away because I believe in it so much and I think it's an amazing, uh, I think it's an amazing thing to, to watch us grow as, as people, as humans. Um, yeah, but I guess not all humans, not all people, there is a diversity of thought. People think it's very dangerous, people from Elon Musk, even people who are not, maybe not as educated or as intelligent as Elon Musk. To be frank, uh, there's a lot of people who think that it's very dangerous and that we should be afraid because they watch a lot of movies and you know they have fears and things like that. But uh, you know, it's already serving an amazing purpose in our society. Who's to say it won't continue to do so? And it's already growing ex exponentially. There's exponential growth in uh, artificial intelligence and technology. Artificial intelligence has been developing since the 1950s and has, been, and has had a slew of slow starts and halts due to technological limitations of the past. But thanks to technological predictions like Moore's Law and the strength of current computers, AI has been able to flourish in the past at three, three decades. This is also due to increased funding for research and development of it being more accepted to the public. People recognize just how useful it is how it makes our lives easier. Which is what humans have always wanted, okay? Why, why do we use tools? We use tools in farming, things like that. We've developed these things over millennia to make our lives easier so that we could build cities, so that we could expand across the globe and not just in Africa and Europe and whatnot. So this is what makes humanity, right? Tools that we build and use and way we use them. Um, people recognize just how useful it is and one of the most notable examples of AI's progress can be found in self-driving cars we see now on the road now in the 2020s. AI can be found in so many different pieces of technology we use today. Personal assistants like Siri Cortana, like I've already mentioned, use AI to help us manage our lives and devices. Traffic lights use AI to monitor and realize this place, making it easier for law enforcement to Catch violations. Companies like Uber use AI to develop reliable transportation solutions for everyone, uh, everywhere. AI robots have been even visited Mars. We've, we've sent AI robots to Mars to do reconnaissance missions, gather data, and send it back to us, uh, which is extremely helpful. Finding water on Mars and uh, Maybe not, maybe not liquid water, but ice water and um, other resources on Mars is an extremely valuable thing. 
people may not realize it's valuable immediately, or the general public at least may not realize it's valuable value immediately, but no doubt that it's a, it's an incredibly valuable thing for us uh, because you know having information, having that data is is is, is just another way we can better interpret our, our universe and kind of uh, use that data to make the better decisions moving forward. So, yeah, robots have even visited Mars for humans to explore instead of, take, instead of us being up there ourselves, right? Instead of sending people to Mars, we can just send an AI robot up there to, to do the, the data gathering. So, of being up there ourselves, which, which eliminates risk and preserves human life. I know Greta's, it's about four o'clock in the morning. Greta's tired, she wants to sleep. You know, dogs sleep a lot. Um, artificially intelligent robots are even claiming the jobs that were once occupied by humans. We are essentially gradually growing and more, growing more and more dependent on AI. We're growing dependent on AI in so many aspects of our society that it seems that we are, that we are better for it. For example, many people can appreciate the AI that goes into detecting cancer. Detecting cancer in its early stages, recommending life-saving treatment. If that doesn't convince you, if that's not one thing that might convince you that AI might be a good thing for our society, then I don't know what will. Detecting cancer and recommending life-saving treatments is incredible it's 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 incredible um you know so many so many illnesses and death and pain in the world already there's a lot of there's so much pain in this world i was thinking about this this morning there's so much pain in this world there's so many unhappy and it's, it's just a lot of dysfunction in this world, man. And I think AI can be a real tool we can use to kind of alleviate and correct that. We are, we have to, we have to move towards a more integrated and sustainable future for us all.